Welcome back to a new video. So in this workout, as the title does suggest, I was extremely sore. And that's one of the reasons I like having the muscle snatches in the beginning. I've been doing the last couple workouts. I did them in the previous workout as well. I just didn't record them. For the reasons I mentioned in the previous uh, video, just people were kind of just generally training there and didn't want to be filming insignificant lifts. And usually 70 kilo muscle snatches aren't that too significant. Um, what is different than what I've done with them in the past is I've been doing them with contact. On the last couple sessions, I've done them with straps, and this one I just did without straps, just as an experiment, and didn't really make too much of a difference, but I think I'll do them without straps, um, unless I have some, like, you know, something wrong with my skin on my hands, if it's really sensitive or something like that, but um, I was, it was a pretty good indicator of how sore I was and how tired I was, at least from a body standpoint. Mentally, I felt pretty good. But when you're kind of moving and warming up, you can kind of tell like this is gonna be this is gonna be a hard session to kind of push hard through. But I was able to snatch pretty well um, on the first wave. I went to 100 and it was a pretty ugly snatch, so I waved back down to 90, and then got back up to 110 on the second wave, and then on the third wave got back to 110 again, and then uh, took two attempts at 120, but just wasn't as precise and just was too tired uh, to be able to get those. And was generally close, but. Just wasn't as precise technically that I needed to be. Uh, for clean jerks, I did more one plus twos, and that's where the fatigue I really started to feel on the cleans. And I was able to uh, make an attempt at 130, but the second jerk I missed, you know, similar thing, just kind of gassed or just muscularly tired and sore. So I'm not really too surprised that they didn't go as well as the previous day because that would have been kind of weird if they did, uh, especially for clean and jerks. Usually you can snatch to a relatively high percentage most most of the time, but clean and jerks will kind of ebb and flow a lot more. Um, but I was happy I tried the 1 plus 2 and I was able to get 1 plus 2s up to that 130 um, and able to get the first jerk um, pretty fine, even though it did feel pretty hard, but able to take an attempt at that second one. So hopefully, you know, I just keep building building that base and just keep getting better at the 1 plus 2s because I think that will carry over to the, the maximal singles just because I'll be better at the jerks. After that, um, I originally planned to do some front squats, but I decided not to do those just because of how sore I felt. So I moved on to doing some snatch pulls and just did some triples uh, at 100, 120, and 130. Nothing too crazy with those and didn't do uh, multiple sets with the 130 just because of how sore I was and my low back was starting to get that crazy pump that it always tends to get randomly, uh, which is always annoying, but it's just something that's always kind of been the case. My low back just kind of takes over everything I do, but I uh, didn't want to do a ton of work because my back kind of just does a lot of work by itself anyway. Um, after the pulls, I did some snatch grip push press, and I haven't done this movement in quite a while, and I originally was, because of how sore I was at, at this point in the workout, I was just going to skip them, but I decided that at some point I was going to have to try to do them, and I knew today I wasn't going to probably do them that great, but I wanted to kind of just get the movement pattern a little bit um, in my system again, because I haven't done it in a while. Um, I was able to do what a double or triple at 100 and then I took a pretty big jump to 130 and I got close but I just couldn't get it locked out so I threw it down in front loaded the bar back up and tried 135 and the same kind of thing happened so it just gives me a good benchmark to, to push from there I really like the movement I always find that it correlates pretty well to heavy snatches and it's an easy movement to do um, from like a mental standpoint you can be really sore beat up or not really want to do much training but you can kind of push hard in that movement and for me, any upper body work is probably going to be a good thing. Um, besides all that, uh, this will be my second to last workout I'll do here uh, before I go to Florida. Uh, the 29th, so the, today is the 28th when I'm recording this commentary, is when I'm flying. I most likely won't be able to train that day. I'm not really going to try to push hard to train that day because I'm going to be flying for half the day and then getting settled down where I'm going to be staying. Um, but the day after, I do want to train. I have to solidify where I'm going to be going. Um, later um, but I'm gonna be bringing my camera and stuff so I should be able to get a video or two or depending on where I'm training I should be able to record relatively normally but we'll see um, that's kind of up in the air uh, depending on where I go to train besides that um, my donation thing that I'm doing for the the full calendar year of the 2022 um, will end at some point while I'm in Florida I get back on the 2nd of January so I'll probably just continue the donation thing until then and then either make a video on the second or the third and it'll just be like a normal training video but I'll talk about the donation the the final numbers with that so um, I'll continue to do things till then uh, my subscriber totals probably won't change too much when I'm in Florida because I won't be able to make any videos um, so they'll probably be pretty you know set in stone what is donated until then but you never know if something does happen 
Um, I don't know what the numbers are at now, but that's probably one of the things I'll sit down and look at when I'm down there in Florida since um, I'll have a lot of downtime, I'm sure, uh, w with whatever we happen to be doing down there since I'm just visiting family. So it's not as if uh, we're all going to be going to the gym and training. That'll just be a, a me kind of thing. But um, I'll get something with that out uh, on the 2nd or the 3rd of January when I'm back because I know um, when I get back on the 2nd, I don't have work or anything. So I should be able to, but the 3rd is a teacher work day. Um, which I will actually be probably doing quite a bit of stuff during usually those are like you just put in grades and for me It's not really that difficult, but I'll probably have to be doing a lot of planning and stuff because I haven't done any planning for the next uh, Unit of stuff that I want to do um, And so I definitely want to be sitting down and think about that and you know writing some stuff out with that so I'll be relatively busy that day, but um, I'll get some normal and I'll have a backlog of videos as well, so I'll have a lot of stuff to do when I get back from Florida, but it'll be nice to be down, and hopefully it'll be a little bit warm. I saw the uh, Miami Dolphins game, it was like 40 degrees, which is much warmer than what it is here, but uh, I'll have to figure that out, or I'll have to see when I get down there if it is going to be warmer. I can't believe Bo's barking again, but you know that's what it is. He's, you gotta listen to him bark at the end of the video, because I'm not recording the whole thing again. <laughs> he was barking at the beginning of the last one. But... Um, yeah, that's it for this one. So I was really happy with the amount of work I was able to get in with uh, being sore. I have one more workout that I'm going to be able to do before I go down to Florida. So um, I'll hopefully have a good training session and be able to have that posted probably uh, tomorrow or like on the 29th. Um, I'll have that be able to be posted since I'll try to get that edited um, before I have to be worrying about my flight and stuff or getting to the airport and whatnot. So next uh, couple workouts after the next one will be a uh, florida gym somewhere so i'll get that figured out and hopefully well it'll be two different gyms i've been at for a little bit so that's it for this one i'll talk to you on the next one i hope you all have a great day peace